My name is Jack, and I live in the city. I love to watch the pigeons outside my window. But I want to see robins and owls and eagles swoosh by. This is my granddad. He was an explorer, and all his adventures were kept inside this. The big magical book. When we sit down together and read his book, I become an explorer just like him. Grandad says today's adventure begins up a tree. Wow! I've never seen inside a nest before. It's high time you lot learn to fly, Mummy Blue Tit told her chicks. The chicks puffed up their feathers and pecked each other with excitement. Chip, 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 chip. I wish I could fly. Grandad says all chicks learn to fly when they're about 19 days old by watching their mum. Go on, like this, I said waving my arms. But the chick is only a few weeks old. She might need to pluck up her courage. The chick stood on the edge, then spread her wings and jumped. Wow, that was brave. Now it's my turn. I gasped. Whoosh! Bump! Grandad pointed out that I might need wings first. So Grandad gave me some wings on my very own. I tried and tried and tried again. But I still couldn't fly. But I wasn't going to give up. Along the beach, snow bunting hovered above. How do you hover like that? I said. It's easy. You just flapped your wings. She I flapped and I flapped and I flapped my wings. But I still couldn't fly. Ah! I can't do it. Grandad told me that snow buntings flap their wings nine times a second. Maybe if I tried flapping my wings faster. So faster and faster I flapped my wings. But I still couldn't fly. The Brent geese were curious. Hey, what's with the wings? asked one. I'm teaching myself to fly, I panted. She beat her huge wings. With those small wings? <laughs> I don't think so. A big bird like you needs bigger wings. She was right. I was never gonna fly. Then I had a good idea. Look at my new wings, I beamed. Awesome, said the geese. They told me to run really, really fast. Ready, steady, go! I can fly! You did it! shouted the geese. I love it! All the geese flocked around me. Are you coming to the Antarctic? asked one. It only takes a week, added another. A week seems like ages. Woo! And so I soared through the skies back home to my granddad. 
See you next year, called out the geese. You're back, Jack, called Grandad. For now, but I'm already thinking about my next adventure. <laughs>